guys chill out the video is finally here i've had so many questions about this one shoe so if you do not know already i made a video i'll pop it up right here i did a review of the mesa mahara yashiru yashiru however you pronounce it yashiru yashiru maison mihara yasuhiro maison yasuhiro mihara however you pronounce that but i made a review on these sneakers in the comments on tiktok youtube every social media platform people have been dming me like a whole bunch of questions about this one shoe right here. So in today's video, I'll be doing an in-depth review of them, answering all you guys' questions. So make sure to stay tuned all the way. If you do plan on buying these shoes, make sure to watch this video so you do not miss out on anything, all right? Let's get into it. So to answer the first question, where can I get these shoes from? You can get these shoes from Essence, Feature, where I got mine from, Grail, Depop, and StockX. And did I say Farfetch too? You can get them from Farfetch, that is the websites. Also, I forgot, you can get them off the Mason Mahara website, but usually they're sold out, so that's you're gonna have to get them from a secondhand retailer like Essence. That is the websites that I recommend you get them off of you can go try some other websites that i may have not listed but those are just some reputable websites you can get these shoes from so boom that was the first question answered the second question i get about these shoes a lot is sizing how do these shoes fit what's like the over are they comfortable are they uncomfortable all that so let me go ahead and answer those questions right now so sizing wise for this shoe i got a size as you can see right there i got a size 43 that is the size that i went with i went true to size but in actuality i recommend you go a size down that will have the perfect fit because i went true to size i am a u US size 10 and I got a size 43 so if you are a size 10 11 this will go a size down but if you are half a size for half a size I recommend really is up to you if you want a little bit more space in the shoe go um, half a size up if you want it to fit true to size go half a size down Let's say your size 10 and a half either get a 43 if you want a little bit more space or get a 42 if you want it to fit true to size so that's really what it boils down to all right I answered both of those questions right there for people um, who don't know what size to get and also for the people who have like who wear a size 10 and a half 12 and a half things like that. And as you see, here is the box that it comes in. This nice, plain, simple box. Nothing crazy. And it, I'm holding it upside down. Yeah. Mason, Ma, wait. Mason Mahara. Asuhiro. And I got a little bit of Japanese on the bottom because, yes, this is a Japanese sneaker. But here's my receipt. As you can see, it says feature. And I paid $411. And then after shipping, taxes, all that extra stuff, it came out to $450. And 80 cents. So that is what you can expect to pay for these shoes. So on Farfetch, 423, feature 375, railed 526. You were taxing my guy. And they used to? Absolutely not. And then set tire, also, that's a website that I missed out. $489. So yeah, you can expect to pay anywhere from the $400. I'm talking about brand new though. I'm talking about brand new. Used, that's a whole different story. Probably you can get them cheaper. Buy one, buy them used, because you know there's a lot of people selling fakes out there. So I wouldn't, I'm not trying to get myself got for this shoe brand new you can expect to pay anywhere from 400 to i'll probably say 550 range depending on which one you get and what size you are and all that so that's what you can expect to pay for the sneaker and then comfort wise this shoe is not very comfortable and this is like with any designer shoe it's probably not gonna be like super duper comfortable so what i do is i take the insoles out of my jordans vapor maxes or any other sneaker that's like comfortable and then i just throw it up in here so when I'm going somewhere, it is a little bit more comfortable because after about an hour or so walking in these sneakers right here, it gets pretty uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. So just keep that in mind if you are gonna buy these shoes. Not the most comfortable sneaker in the world. And then I've owned these shoes for about, mm, I could just say six months and let me go ahead and flip the camera around or let me just get out the frame so I can zoom in up close for you guys so you can see every single detail of the shoe so we can run it down. Six months of ownership of the sneakers. So I'm gonna catch y'all once I get behind the camera. Okay, so here is the close up right here. As you can see, my pair is not the cleanest because I do wear them a lot and I haven't cleaned them in a while. But let me just go ahead and give you guys a close up 360 of the shoe. Here it is right here. I'm gonna pop up um, a TikTok video like right here. These shoes are a little bit more beat than like somebody else's sneaker because I actually wear my shoes. I don't just keep them in the box forever, but the canvas is dirty. And as you tell, the painting is also starting to crack. Let me just zoom in on that for you guys. There we go. But as you can see, it's starting to crack. Let me know what you guys think of these laces right here. If it will focus, I dropped 
three colorways of the Mason Mahara shoelaces. Let me just get out the camera so it can focus. But here are the colorways right here. We have a cream colorway, black, and then white. This is like meant for Mason Mahara sneaker shoelace replacements, or if you do want to put these shoelaces on your Jordans or any other sneaker, because I know like a lot of people do like to lace swap their sneakers. As you can see, I have my branded tips on there also. Grout Lucker on the shoelace tip. So that is really cool. Let me know what you guys think of these shoelaces in the comments below if I should drop them or not, because right now these are just my samples. Also, I do have these Lambin style shoelaces too that I just dropped on my website. You can shop down below or you can shop on YouTube too. I also got my shop on here also. I don't lie. We starting trends. Who else have you seen do this before? Like nobody. Exactly. We the first one to do it. You want to be ahead of the curve. You want to be ahead of the wave. You want to be ahead of the trend. Go shop as you can see. But anyways, that to the Mason Maharis. I also read the comments in a YouTube video. A ton of people have been saying shoelace tutorial, lace tutorial. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna give you guys a lace tutorial in this video. So go ahead. If you do have these sneakers or if you are waiting for them to arrive in the mail, watch this video and save it for later. But if you do have these sneakers right now, go get them out your closet, get them out your little shoe rack, whatever you got them at, go get them from the front door, go grab them real fast and come back to this video. All right, so I'm gonna start with the left shoe. So what you wanna do, grab the left Mesa Mahara, set it down just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for you guys so you can see like up and close. So first thing you wanna do, take the laces all the way out like this. So once they're even, what you wanna do, let me zoom back in for you guys, put the shoelace that is closer to the inside in first and then the outside goes in second, just like this, let's watch, let's watch. And also when you are lacing it, make sure to leave like some room about this. Yeah, that's a good amount of space right there. So just like that, you should be able to fit your finger right through it. Put your outside one in second and also make sure they're going in even, make sure they are flat. So make, make sure they're not all tangled up when they're going in. So let me go ahead and pick it up and show you guys what it looks like. It should look just like that. Don't make them too tight. But at the same time, don't make them too, too loose. Cause then I'll just be flopping off your foot. So just like that. And then just repeat all the way to the top. So just take your finger and just glide it through. Make sure it does not get tangled up. Just make sure it goes straight in. Just like that. Boom, perfect. It should look just like this. So what some people do at this stage right here. So once you get to the second from the top lace hole right here, what some people do is like this. Let me show you. They make it like all the way loose. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys all the way, all the styles, how to lace these shoes. So some people do it like this. Outside goes in a second. So hold on, let me make them a little bit more looser because they're a little bit too tight for this style. This is how some people like their Mason Maharis laced because they like to wear baggy pants and I understand that. But for those of y'all who do not like to wear baggy pants or your pants not, might not be covering like the top part, like right here. So this is the first way how to lace them. Let me know what y'all think of this way. But let me go ahead and do it the right way or the way that I would do it. So let's take it, bring it all the way through the hole, just like that. Bring this one all the way through the hole, just like that. So your shoes should look like this. Just tighten them up a little bit. Boom, perfect, perfect, perfect. So inside in goes in first. So look, what I do is I bring them all the way through the top hole just like that, nothing special. I just don't like them that loose. Like how I, the first example, I just don't like them that, that loose. That's a little bit too loose. Hold up, see look, this is not, this is not straight, so I gotta fix it. It's okay, just bring it back out and then go back in. Boom, so this is how I lace them. I had them a little bit tighter because I, I told y'all, go a size down. I went through the size and they are a little bit too big, so I have to wear them like this. But if I got, if I went size down, this is exactly how I wear them, just like this. So let me go ahead and bring them in the natural lighting so I can show you guys. All right, so this is what they look like in a natural lighting. Here's a quick on feet look. As you can see, I told y'all, this is like too loose for me. Look, when I walk, see, look, the insole comes right out, but it just looks so fire. Like, this is the perfect way to rock your race in Maharas. Hold up, bring that string out a little bit more. Let's push it down. But yeah, this is like the perfect way to lit, to rock the Maharas. Just like this is fine. Or you can do it the first way I showed. Or if you don't like any of those, you can lace them like this right here. Pretty much like factory lace. So just let me know which one looks better. Basically factory lace or free lace. Just let me know in the comments which one looks better or the first way. But that was the last tutorial for y'all and I'm gonna catch y'all back in the room. And if this Q&A for the Mason Maharas was helpful, just make sure to go show some love in the comments. 
go show some love on my website you know go copy a pair of laces or something go like the video subscribe all that good stuff and also let me know what other videos you guys want to see if you have any other questions about jordan fours how to lace them jordan ones i'll be glad to make videos like that to help you guys out so just talk to me in the comments and guess what i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video which will probably be oh also i'm gonna be posted every i'm gonna try to not if not every day every other day like i'm gonna try to be super duper consistent because i am on summer break so i'm gonna try to be super consistent with you guys and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video peace